One mama, they cry well, well, and for the life and safety of her three-year-old uh, girl picking for claim on top of rape when her father, Naim Duan, to her. And plus, TV Africa have been the monitor the develop for inside the Ibadan, Oyo State capital, where the mama, she the yearns, especially with our talk talk person. Here is the pain of a mother who wants justice, not just for herself, but also for her infant who was reportedly violated by her biological father. Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps and women support groups have been called in to help as the mother seeks justice for her daughter. The first time I noticed she was defiled by her father was on June 4th, around past 10, when I walked in on them. I walked in on him standing close to the bed and my daughter was fast asleep and she was not wearing a sleep trouser. That's when I noticed something was wrong with my daughter. So the next day being June 5th, when I wanted to beat her, I just decided to check, to check her just to be sure that she was not tampered with. And lo and behold, when I checked, she was already tampered with. When it was time to beat my daughter, I asked her to remove her nika. Then I want to beat you. I had she and her brother that, okay, you should move your nika, let me go and beat you. Then she came again, I was still on my machine, she came again and she lied down on the bed and she opened her leg. I just said, let me turn. I saw the first hole the other day, being June 5th, and this one was already wider. I decided to take a picture of it before going to the hospital. When I opened her to take a picture, then I saw small sperm around her vagina. So I took a picture of it. Then I took her to the hospital. As a mother, and with the experience and the fact that she's in the hospital, um, as at the time I met with her, almost 10 days, and nobody has come. Even from the government, nobody has come to check on her. Nobody has um, even supported her with the medical bills, apart from family, friends, and you know, that are contributing. You know, the pain was just too much for her to bear. And when she called me back um, a few hours after, she was like, Ma, I thought that these people are supposed to be on my side. This is what is going on. They're like sweeping this case on the ground. It's like this man has some people backing him. You know, they've granted him bail. He's walking freely on the street. I said, don't worry. This is not something that you're going to handle alone. We're going to back you up with Child Protection Network. We're going to get, I'm also going to make sure that as much of media that we can get into this, because the media has a strong part to play. So when the result came out and it showed that there was penetration, that the hymen is no longer there, they went back again to rearrest him. And when they did, the hearing was supposed to be for on the 16th of July. That was this Thursday that just passed. But something happened. They went, is the, the, the whole thing was reported at magistrate court. So I don't know who double crossed who. They took it to the high court. They took his bail application to the high court. So when they got there, the judge said he wanted to see my baby and I on Wednesday. This is before 16, that was supposed to be the hearing. So we went there. And the judge said, um, he called us into his chambers. Then he said that he would just advise that I dropped the case, that because I didn't see him with my eyes, I should drop the case and I should leave him for God. It was painful because we left the hospital to the court and my daughter cannot hold her, we cannot hold her pool. And we've been here in the hospital here, this hospital, for 11 days. The latest is that the suspect has been rearrested by men of the NSCDC waiting to be arraigned. When the case was reported to NSCDC arrested command, they, we charged the case to court. And when we charged him to court, the justice, who is in charge, the judges in charge of the case, demanded the man in the NSCDC custody at Ecuador uh, uh, A in Ibadan. And after that, we took him back to court on 16th of July this month also. We did that. The justice granted the uh, suspect bail. And when they granted him bail, the man has not made the bail condition that the court gave to him. So they still have to remand him as NSC this custody in Agodi here. So the man is still in a custody in, at Agodi uh, Sectorial here. While this is applauded in some quarters, there are still questions yet to be answered, which include among many. Why is the police not taking the prosecution? 
Why was the suspect granted bail and the bail was reportedly paid by the company that the culprit works for? What is the state attorney waiting for since it is a rape case? Plus TV Africa is following up on this story and will bring you a detailed report as more evidence emerge during investigation. Thank you.